The stream flows quietly, silently along its path, although it knows not where it leads. The stream understands that to live life means to move, to change, to go beyond what existence it knows. For it moves on to the quiet of the lake, merging its rapids into calming currents. That is life, through happiness and heartache, our rapids to bear. Letting go of what we know for a future that is better for ourselves and our souls. Um, my name is Joanne Massengale, and I was raised in Hartman, Arkansas. And my story basically is going to start back in the 1940s when my parents um, bought some property in the Hartman area. And at that time, they bought 52 acres and built a house. And I was about six years old when we moved into the house, so I started to school in Hartman. And on that uh, property was... Uh, there was some uh, little creeks and pasture land, and uh, the thing that probably was the, the biggest thing to, that drew attention to everyone was a um, schoolhouse building that was built by the WPA uh, in like 1930s. I spent a lot of time playing in that schoolhouse. Uh, at that time, the, the school School was no longer in session there, and my sister and I had a uh, huge, big playhouse. Mother would pack us a lunch, and we'd be gone all day just playing on the property that my daddy and mother owned. And uh, as property became available, my dad would buy it, and that increased uh, the land that he uh, raised cattle on. And and uh, so I was there all of my younger years and my teenage years. I lived there in that property. And then after I married, um, my husband and I were, um, we had two small children and he was transferred to the New Mexico and to work on the Navajo mining reservation. And uh, so we were out there several years. And during the time that we were out there, my dad decided that it was time to uh, sell part of the property. So he was going to sell the 52 acres that um, that he had there. And um, of course, my husband wanted to buy it. And it was $50 an acre. And that was a lot of money to us. And I remember crying because I didn't think we could pay $50 an acre. We had two small children. and But um, we ended up with the property anyway. We started with that 52 acres and then just added acreage to it as it became available around us and um, we ended up with a total of 200 acres and uh, we had cattle we had horses we had a lot of equipment and uh, still had the old schoolhouse building that my husband put a machine shop in that employed at times as many as seven employees and we had um, um, a lot of good years there. At that time we had had another child, so then we had a son and two daughters. And um, we all lived out there on the farm, built a house, and, and life was good. And this is where my story gets sad. Because in 2000, my husband, Junior, was diagnosed with colon cancer. And uh, after the battle of four years, he lost that battle to cancer. And at that point then, I realized that I had a lot of responsibilities and a lot of decisions to make. And uh, that's when I had to start trying to figure out whether I could stay out there and be successful at raising cattle and horses and brush hogging and doing all the things that goes with a farm. And I soon realized I just wasn't tough enough to do that. So um, I decided then that the thing for me to do was to sell the house and acreage enough that I could buy a house in town. And after all of these years of being a country girl, I um, decided I had to be a city dude. I still have about 130 acres left. I still have some cattle. Um, I don't have any of his machine equipment anymore, but... Um, 
thinking I made the right decision to move to town, but yet I kept what was important to my dad and my husband by keeping the property and that they started out with. Letting go is not giving up. It is simply finding happiness and understanding that the rabbits may take a different course than what we planned. But in the end, we know that wherever life takes us, it is where we belong.